Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Homoko service for 2021, honoring Shindan Shoni, his death memorial. I'd like to welcome everyone joining us here and there to be able to participate in this service. It's always special to be able to honor our founder, Shindan Shoni, uh, over my right shoulder here, and we'll be able to today chant the Shoshinge from Shindan Shoning and also to be able to consider some of his words. I'd like to introduce you to our chairpersons for today. Yes, our chairpersons for this service is Squeak and Kiki. You might recognize them. Uh, they are young ones who have been here before and, and have endured their own difficulties, losing a friend, very close friend, and, and through that they have come to the temple and, and appreciate all the support that has uh, been offered them by the Sangha and by the teachings and by our uh, service traditions. And so kind of a natural progression, I think, that um, through their experience with the temple, now they are all the more interested in the teachings and what Shindan had to say. And so they asked if they could be chairpersons for today's Ho'onko service and to participate in this special service for Shindan Shoni and to have the opportunity to think about the words that Shindan has left with us and that guide uh, our school, our teachings, our traditions. So we have uh, Squeak and Kiki here today to serve as our service chairpersons. Uh, they are, as you know, too young to be wearing masks, but they are uh, helpful to, to encourage us all to continue to be cautious and safe uh, during this pandemic time. And you see that they have their onenju on, so they are ready for service like to go over our service order for today. Uh, we'll begin with the Honko Hyobyakumon. This will be followed by the reading of the three treasures and then the Rai Sanmon. Then I'll take my seat upon the altar to chant the Shoshinge Nembutsu Ekoku. Uh, then I'll return to give our Dharma message and this will be followed by our thank yous and oshoko. Okay, so please be prepared for this service to be able to join us in the reading of the three treasures, Rai Sanmon, and then chanting the Shoshinge. Okay, so with this we will begin. Please join me in Gashou as I read the Honko Hyobyakumon. With a profound sense of gratitude, the members and friends of our temple have gathered here this morning to observe the annual memorial service for our founder, Shindan Shoning. The Nembutsu teachings have been transmitted through the seven spiritual masters. We gather to acknowledge our gratitude to Shindan Shoning for having clarified and transmitted the valuable Nembutsu Dharma. May we begin to hear the timeless call of reassurance that continues to come from the world of immeasurable and inconceivable light and life in the form of the name that calls Namo Amidavutsu, Namo Amidavutsu, Namo Amidavutsu, Namanda, 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 Namanda. Now, please join me for the reading of the three treasures in the Rai Sanmon. Hard is it to be born into human life. Now we are living it. Difficult is it to hear the teachings of the Blessed One. Now we hear it. If we do not realize the truth in this life, when will it be realized? Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in the Buddha. May we absorb ourselves in the principle of the way to enlightenment and awaken in ourselves the supreme will. I take refuge in the Dharma. May we be submerged in the depths of the doctrine 
and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in the Sangha. May we live in harmony in the great assembly as disciples of Buddha and be freed from all hindrances, becoming units of true accord in the life of harmony, in a spirit of universal oneness, freed from the bondage of selfishness. Even through myriad ages of kalpas, hard is it to hear such an excellent, profound, and wonderful doctrine. Now we are able to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of Tathagata's teachings. Rai Sanmon Ninjin ukegatashi imasure ni uku Buppo kikigatashi imasure ni kiku Konomi konjo ni mokatte to sezumba Sara ni izure no sho ni mokatte ka konomi to sen Taishu morotomo ni shishin ni sambo ni kieshi tate matsuru beshi Mizukara butsu ni kieshi tate matsuru Masane nagawaku ba shujo to tomo ni Taido taige shite mujo i o okosan Mizukara ho ni kieshi tate matsuru Masane nagawaku ba shujo to tomo ni Fukaku kyozo ni irite chie umi no gotoku naran Mizukara so ni kieshi tate matsuru Masane nagawaku ba shujo to tomo ni Taishu wo tori shite issai muge naran Mujo jin jin mi myo no ho wa Hyaku sen man go ni mo ai o koto katashi Ware ma ken mon shi juji suru koto o etari Nega waku wa nyodai no shinji sugi o geshi tate matsuran Namo Amida Watsu, Namo Amida Watsu, Namo Amida Watsu, Namanda, 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 Namanda. Shoshinge. Yakushin Ken Kyo Dai Kyo Ki 
そこを超絶合悪衆一切全幕凡暴に問診如来偶然が仏言古代衝撃者善人妙本だりけみだ仏を観念仏邪見教魔なく修正信教十字人に難難中し難無かし引導最低し論下中華自治域志こそ県大将校摂生意妙如来四世を起釈迦如来両河線一周五秒南天寺十十大寺出頭世質の在波を無権、戦絶大乗無情報、召喚疑似小安楽、賢治南行六六、新行異行四路楽、億年未だ仏本願、次年即時、入筆上、由意の上昇如来語、大法大偶然音、天神菩薩造論説、奇妙無下古如来、越州たら賢真実、高専の超大聖願、こういう本願力栄光移動群上昇一心記入空読大崩壊実逆入大越収集特殊連芸造成界即昇進業法昇人有本の臨源人図入賞地音地予言、本地論乱量天使、上古乱象菩薩来、三蔵ルーシー十条教、本上専業気楽法、天神菩薩論中芸、報道因果見世願、大言ねこゆたりく、少女子いぬいしんじん、わくぜんぼんぶしんじんほつ、少子少子そくねはん、いしむりょうこみょうどう、少しゅうじょうかいふけ、どうしゃっけしょうどうなんしょう、入妙浄土かつ入万全寺力縁言衆円満特合感染症三不三神経音音増末法滅道因一生増悪地偶然死安女外生命か全道六名仏生意公愛上三名逆悪公明明後見人年海入本願大一回行者少寿今後心教吉年相応後、尿意大統逆三人、即昇昇四条楽、検診公開一大教、延期安尿管理祭
先祖修身反戦時、お家に道小弁流、国獣悪人入衣小物、我薬剤摂取中、門の証言水不見、大無見上昇が、本資源苦妙仏教、連民全幕本部に、新宗教書後編集、戦弱本願部惑星、現代小辞林伝芸、ケチギ上一生死、即入弱上無依落、一新人に納入。仏教大自主思想上細無変国上苦悪道俗自主愚道心ゆいか心心Good morning again, everyone.、Uh, nice to be able to share this special Ho Onko service with you. So, today I thought we would reflect upon words from Shindan Shonin and、uh, from the Tani Sho. There's a passage even a good person attains birth in the Pure Land, how much more so the evil person? And so, getting ready for this service and thinking about this passage. I thought back to、uh, words that were shared by my father. Many of you know that my father, Reverend Hogan Fujimoto, also served as a BCA minister. And he was at the Buddhist、uh, Placer Buddhist Church, the Placer Buddhist Church. And at that time, I was maybe seven years old to ten years old, so pretty young. And at the Placer Buddhist Church, there would be The temple, and on one side of it would be the minister's residence where we lived, and on the other side would be the social hall where、uh, gatherings were, were there. Maybe after the funeral service, the dinner would be held there, or, or Japanese movies, Chambara movies would be shown there on, on weekends and things like this. So these three main buildings, and in front of the three main buildings, is a big area. Where we could play, and the kids would play there, and 
every now and then my father would come out from the temple or from his office and sit down with us and talk to us and on one occasion he was talking about uh, the teachings of Shindan Shoni and he read this passage he, he had this exact passage even a good person attains birth in the pure land how much more so an evil person and so he told us this and it kind of explained a little bit about Shindan's teachings and, and the perspective and I remember that you know so today I was thinking gee 60 years I've heard this passage here and there now and then and when I do come across it or read it or someone mentions it I think of Shindan Shoning, but I think of my father uh, and to think of Shindan Shoning, he always praises and credits Honen and, and the seven masters of our school of Buddhism and all these great masters who have brought the teachings down through time, through history, through cultures and then reaching each of us here today. And so to think of this passage of the Dharma and Shindan Shoning, his words, and always uh, not pointing to himself, but always pointing to others, his teachers that have provided these teachings to come forward, to touch each of us. And so I thought, gee, these words have been here a long time in my life, you know, kind of like tapping me on my shoulder, reminding me of these teachings, of these words from Shindan Shoning. So this one in particular, you know, we've talked about in our class, a very well-known quote from the Tanisho and reflecting Shindan's perspective on the attainment of birth in the Pure Land. So our usual perspective would be the opposite of what he says here. And we would normally think that a good person would be much more closer to their Shinjin awareness to birth in the pure land or to attaining enlightenment, right? A good person would be closer to those levels of being such a person than someone who would be considered an evil person. So the good person in our normal perspective, that person would be more deserving, more capable. Um, when we think of evil, an evil person doesn't mean someone who is wicked. It refers to someone with flaws and foibles, someone with limitations, a person who makes mistakes. It refers to an ordinary person. It refers to me. It refers to someone who stumbles through life, making our best choices within our limited perspectives, coming into good fortune, or bad luck, depending on the conditions that are there. A person with doubts, it refers to me. So the quote, the quote points to the compassion of the infinite, the compassion of Amida moving towards each of us, assuring us that we'll be okay, that we'll be included. What is difficult is accepting this assurance. What does it mean? How does it work? Why should I accept these promises in these words? The difficulty we encounter is the voice of our own ego refusing to relinquish its control. We know this self-centered voice. We hear it every morning. We hear it all throughout the day, every single day of our lives. And we're very comfortable with this voice of our ego. We have a problem hearing a voice or accepting a promise from somewhere else other than this voice that we are uh, comfortable with, that we are accustomed to. So because of this, we have doubts. We are given this assurance, this kind of promise that is uh, referred to in this passage. But we have doubts. What does it mean? What does it mean? The quote is an invitation to move beyond the self, to recognize the connected reality we share, 
with Amida, we come to recognize I and other are one. So this is kind of the uh, direction that this passage from the Tanisho is, is pointing us towards. So each time we hear this passage, each time we read this passage, we consider this again and again and again and come to recognize Shinnan's perspective and guiding us to step beyond our own self-centered perspective and to open us to this reality of Amida that surrounds us all. Reading this passage one more time, even a good person attains birth in the Pure Land, how much more so an evil person? So, 60 years considering this passage, maybe another 60 years to go, and we'll each consider this passage here and there, now and then. Please join me in Gashyo. Namo Amidavots, Namo Amidavots, Namo Amidavots. Namanda, 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 Namanda. So thank you very much for joining us for today's Hoonko service. I'd like to thank uh, Squeak and Kiki for being our chairpersons for today. I'd like to thank everyone who has been helpful in preparing for our service, getting the flowers ready, the Obukpan and the Osonaya fruit offerings, uh, others that are involved in, in preparing the video service and, and editing and uploading so that we have a link to this service. And again, thanking everyone to be a part of this service and to join in this very special Ho'onko service. So let us conclude. Join me in Gashō. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namanda, 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 Namanda. Next, I'll light the incense, incense for Oshoko. Please come up as you have prepared to do to offer incense. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Namanda, 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 Namanda.